What's up everybody and welcome into today's video. If you are new to our channel, we are the cream that stands for cash flow, real estate and money. We are full-time real estate investors. We own and operate and manage a portfolio valued over $50 million. And we continue to flip properties as well, bringing in over six figures every single month. So we're full-time real estate investors. This is what we know. This is what we love. And we're happy to help you in any way we possibly can on your real estate investing journey. So great video here for you today. We are going to be referencing an article that I just found on MarketWatch. And this has to do with the hardship withdrawals from 401ks. So let me explain real quick what this is. Basically, when somebody's working a normal job, like a corporate America type of job, their employer most often is going to give them a 401k. And then there's going to be some kind of program where the employer will match deposits or contributions to a 401k, something of that nature. And that this is a way to build a retirement with a company that you are working for. So a lot of people have 401ks out there and they're typically managed by these giant funds, right? And in fact, this data that we're going to be going over here today came from Vanguard, which is probably one of the biggest uh, money managers, biggest firms, especially for 401ks on the planet. And when people have a 401k, they are able to access this money. If you're younger than 59 and a half years old, you can tap into your 401k if you have a hardship, right? If something's going on in your life that is less than desirable, if you're going through some kind of, you know, bad situation or a hardship, that will, you can actually have permission to take and use your 401k money and not have to pay a 10% penalty. So that's what we're talking about here today because the hardship withdrawals from 401ks have literally skyrocketed. They're up over 40% in the last year and actually they're up 100%. They have doubled since 2021. And the number one reason that people are putting as their hardship to access this money is to prevent an eviction or prevent a foreclosure. So this is what's going on in the market today, everybody. Today is the 29th of June, or I'm sorry, today is the 1st of July, and this article was written on the 29th of June. So this is fresh data right here that's all coming out. And basically, a lot of homeowners are struggling. And I'll tell you why homeowners are struggling. The, you know, We all know about the rising interest rates. But a lot of the homeowners, they actually have fixed rate mortgages, which is a low interest rate, and that's totally fine. But it's not just the interest rates that are rising. You know, if somebody's got a fixed rate, low interest mortgage, they're kind of sheltered. They're kind of protected from rising interest rates. But guess what? The property taxes and insurance costs are going through the roof. So this is putting a lot of people into hardship because, you know, the costs essentially are elevating faster than their pay increases. So if somebody's working a normal job, you know, the cost of insurance, that's like one of the biggest, if not the biggest um, increase in price that we have seen in this inflationary period that we're in right now. Insurance costs are just absolutely through the roof. And then property taxes, if you own rental properties, you can definitely agree. I mean, we've been seeing massive property uh, tax increases and that's because the property values have risen up so much. When we were in that low interest rate environment, two, three, four percent interest rates, people had access to cheap money. That's dri that drives the prices and the values of properties up. When properties go up in value, then the property taxes increase because typically uh, the property taxes are determined as a percentage of the assessed value of a property. So when the property Values are going up, the taxes go up, and people are just getting squeezed right now. It's really ugly out there. So what can we do to prepare ourselves, or how do we thrive in this time of contraction? Here to let you know, we will be discussing this at our live stream on Wednesday and every Wednesday. So make sure you check in Wednesday, 11 o'clock here on the channel. We'll be going live to talk about specifically what we're doing, but really what it's going to come down to, everybody, is you got to have access to capital. What does everybody need right now? Well, obviously, if people are tapping into their retirement savings, they need money. 
So we need to be able to access capital so we could get out there and buy properties. You know, people, if they need money, they will sell you a property. They will sell you, you know, their home to get out of the financial hardship that they're in. We need to be prepared to buy right now. And this is exactly what we're setting up. We closed two properties last week. We're closing another one this week and another one the week after that. We are being strategic in our buying. We're only buying great deals, but we are funding everything with our private lenders. Because when you know things are in a time of contraction, all the lenders, I'm talking about the bank lenders, the institutional lenders, the hard money lenders, they contract as well. And they make it more difficult to borrow money. We need to have access to our private lenders. This is something that I'm working on every single day, nurturing these relationships. This way, when the right opportunity comes, like a homeowner who needs to sell their house fast because of whatever hardship is going on in their life, you have access to the capital to be able to take it, you know, the good deal, to buy the good deal. Right. There's a lot. Of, there's going to be a lot of good buys out there, but you need to market strategically. And most of all, you need to have access to the capital. And that's what we do. And that's what we teach in our coaching program. We're experts at raising private money. We help you to do the same exact thing. And we have the opportunity to thrive in this time. I think things will continue to get worse before they get better. Right. Stock market right now is at all time highs. But that's kind of the last uh, last thing holding up this economy, right? I think we're kind of headed into more contraction. Obviously, the data is that's what it's showing. People are tapping into their 401ks right now just to prevent foreclosure. But that's not an endless well. That's not an endless source of that we can be can, that people can continue to tap. So we need to be ready to be able to buy these properties when people are ready to sell and buy good deals. And that's what we teach everybody. We have a method called flipping 360 where you can actually flip properties to yourself and you make money on every step of this transaction. You're making money up front. You're making money while you hold. You're making money when you refinance and you're making money if and when you sell the property. So more information about our coaching program, you can contact us with the links below. Hit up our link tree. We have a what I consider to be the very best book on wholesaling real estate and something that's cool is we're coming out with a book on section eight we're big on section eight rental properties as well so more information about that use the link below and make sure you subscribe if you're interested and passionate about real estate just like we are and like the video if you found it valuable everybody we will not only survive but we will thrive during this time this is what we're all about let's kick ass let's take some names we'll see you on the next